Yo, what up, everybody? Hold on, my uh, there we go. It's time to do 2017 certified cuts football. Uh, half case with just six boxes, number 35. It should be this one. No, that's not it. And this one, here it is. That way, uh, you know what's what. Uh, Jimbo, dude, I, I sent you an email already. Let me see. I don't know if there's spots available. I, I haven't checked on that. But yeah, dude, I sent you an email, uh, James. But, uh, yeah, to answer your question, I don't know if there are spots available. There could be. I don't. I mean, uh, again, I don't know. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. A couple, a couple people, well, one dude emailed me that I know for sure. That was like, yo, if anybody, you know, doesn't come in or whatever, I'll do that later tonight. Once I'm off, once I'm offline, if I don't have, well, first of all, the draft's not gonna happen unless like all ten spots are filled in each league. All right, that's number one. Number two, yeah, if, if there's any spots open still, and people email me about it or you know hit up the Facebook group or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll send the request and hopefully we can draft tomorrow. Because I did have the draft set up for tomorrow. At one o'clock Eastern Time. Ooh, certified cuts. Haven't seen this in a little while. There's some nice stuff in this uh, these certified cuts here. Uh, yes, E Dubs, 2015 Bowman Draft Baseball Hobby number 11 is next. After this break. Yeah, I, dude, Big Greg, I might have to be, uh, Calling it an early night tonight, just so that I can make that draft in time tomorrow. Because I, you know, I, I do want to do it on the live stream. I do want to do it during the live stream. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, no problem, Eric. But worst case scenario, I just do it from my home. All right, let's see what we got here. Oops, this is numbered to ninety nine. Eli Manning, Giants. Three a.m. your time. Well, dude, now that you're uh, now that you're a part of it, make sure you start setting up your your auto picks or whatever. Winston. Bucks. I think you could also set it to like draft for you. You could do it like have it draft like you know best available or whatever. But I would suggest uh, setting your uh, setting up your like your top one hundred or two hundred picks or something like that. Uh, McNichols Bucks patch. Joe Green, 399 Steelers. 
Look in here. We got Corey Davis to 99. Titans. Ooh, nice. A rookie patch auto for Alvin Kamara. Two ninety nine, very nice. Hold up, let me respond to Mom Dukes. Josh Reynolds to 299. The uh, rookie cut. That's what they call these. These are sweet. And the base set's not, not ugly either. Uh, Quincy Wilson, 399 Colts. This is a nice, nice, nice product here. I like it. I like certified cuts. And there's some weird, like, cut signatures in this stuff, too. They do look nice. They do look nice. Especially like on the in the corner of those cut signatures. They'll have like a, a little the, the circle there with like the patch a patch on there. When they get lower and lower, some of those patches are like real nice. I think I hit one with like an NFL shield on there last year or something like that. This is two autographs, two relics per box on average. You know, there are some boxes that'll have like three autographs and one relic. There are some boxes that'll have three relics and one autograph. But on average, two autos, two relics. That's, that's usually what it looks like. Yeah, there's rookies, there's veterans. And there's like, I think there's like John F. Kennedy cut signatures in this stuff. Like, it's it's funky. Uh, Brian, we broke that last night, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the video should be up on YouTube. Clay Matthews to 99 Packers. Got a John Ross patch for the Bengals. You'd think it got taken down. Well, that's not good. Let me see. Origins, I broke that on the 4th. So that should definitely be up. Well, this was two days ago. Let me see if I can find the video. Brian, how about you just ask me if you like, if, if I can find the video for you. You know, it should not be taken down due to the copyright because we, yeah, see, that's what I thought. Brian, you're just lazy, dude. You're just lazy. 
Here's the link. Get your YouTube skills up, Brian. Shame on you making me stop this so I can send you the link. I'm going to have to make like a tutorial video or something because it's really easy to look the videos up. Like if you go to our YouTube channel, you're like, I'll do it right now. If you go to our YouTube channel, you just click right here. Click Origins. Like you type in whatever break you're looking for. In this case, Origins number six. Type in that, and then boom, your break will come up. And we also put in like RCC is would be a store break. eBay is an eBay break. It's uh, it's not rocket science, Brian. But yeah, it's it's. I'm giving you a hard time, but uh, it's not just you, brother. If I had a dollar for every time I had that question. I probably wouldn't be breaking because I'd have so much dollars. All right, let's see what else we can get in this, though. Evan Ingram. Patch of the Giants. Michael Irvin, 399 Cowboys. What is this? Memorable moments. Tom Brady to 99. The GOAT. Football starts tomorrow. Another one? Another Alvin Kamara. Rookie cut for the Saints. This one's a 99. Very nice. The Saints doing really well for themselves right now. I have a bold prediction that Kamara is not going to be as productive this year as he was last year. Look at that. Look at the patch on that. That's nice. Seahawks usually have nice patches. Rookie cut for Amara Darbo. To 299. I think he's not even. I don't even think he's with the Seahawks anymore. I think he signed with another team. McMillan of the Dolphins, 399. All right, that's uh, two boxes down. Shoot, Alan, I'm about to I'm about to ask you the same thing, bro. I was about to ask you the same thing. What's up, Brave? Yeah, CBJ did put a lot of stuff in the store. That's 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 how it's supposed to be. He fills the store up and I move it. Once we uh, get a little bit back to normal here, it'll just get better and better. I, I should be telling you that, uh, Alan. What's up, Brad? Freaking both uh didn't both Scarborough get, get cut by the uh by the Cowboys? They also let Garrett go their kicker. And I can't I still can't believe the Raiders essentially traded Khalil Mack to the Bears. Yeah, they did get two first rounders in return. But dude, there's there is no way. What are the odds that one of those first round picks turns into uh, turns into the, the caliber of a player that Khalil Mack is? Bears are going to surprise some people this, this year, I think. Matthew Days, Browns 99. No, well, yeah, they cut him too, but they cut their, their, their rookie uh, running back, Bo Scarborough. 
Shelton Gibson, 199 Eagles autograph. Oh, dude. I already know. I already know about Khalil Mack. The guy's a beast. I'm just, I, 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 for the, for the life of me, I can't understand how you pay a coach a hundred million dollars, but you don't want to pay your best player, who's, he, dude, he's like way better than anybody else at his position. Like it's not even close. He's arguably the best defensive player in the entire NFL at his position. Pay the man. I'm sure they're paying Mariota for the Titans right there. That's a nice autograph. The Modern Cut Auto. Numbered 7 out of 10. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, Bo okay. So, Bo Scarborough cut but signed to the practice squad. Which is good news. Good, you know, he's still on the team. He's still on the team. Who knows, you know, there's an injury, he could step up. You know, Zeke's uh, health has been in question a little bit there. So who knows? Tywan Taylor, Titans patch. Randy Moss, 399 Vikings. Emmett Smith to 99 Cowboys. Oh, dude, Oakland is going to, I don't know, man. Like, their defense was pretty bad. Now that they lost their best player, mm, I don't know. J.H.I. patch for the Dolphins. Donald Pumphrey, Eagles 399. No, I, I like Gruden. I like Gruden a lot. But I feel like he gets, like, way, way too much credit for what he did, like, in years past. Like, the, the dude's won, what, one Super Bowl in the last, what, 30 years or something like that? Like, I was watching, uh, I think somebody was, somebody came up with a stat in the last 16 years he hasn't won a single playoff game. Like, well, he's been he's been announcing for like ten years, but prior to that, when he was a coach with the Bucks, like two of two of his six seasons, he he made the playoffs. I just I don't understand how you how you pay a coach that much money, and he's not even on the field. Like you know what I mean? It's not like he's it's not like he's out there tackling a dude or throwing the ball. He's calling plays. No disrespect, man, but there is no way that it should have came down to oh well, John Gruden or, or Khalil Mack. Are you kidding me? Arguably the best defensive player in the league or an overrated coach that hasn't coached in 10 years? Hmm, I don't know. Just the Oakland doing Oakland stuff. Oakland doing Oakland stuff. That's why they're going to Vegas. Oh, dude, a lot of, a lot of people, uh, a lot of people think highly of uh, Coach Gruden. I think so, too. I think he's a great coach, like, personality-wise. He has, like, all the intangibles and whatnot of what I would want in a coach. Fiery, knows the game, blah 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 But still, like, the, coach, the coaching position is super important. Don't get me wrong. But if it comes down to me paying my best player or paying a coach, like, 
To me personally, it's not a decision. But whatever. And like you know, I'm one of those. You know, what have you done for me lately? Dude hasn't coached in like over ten years. But all of a sudden, the Raiders want to pay him a hundred million dollars. Kevin White, five out of ten. Speaking of, like, whatever happened to this guy? Well, I said arguably, Bob. That that is that is the key one. And he was Defensive Player of the Year in 2016. But, you know, name name five players better at his position. I, I, I'll give you one, Von Miller. Maybe, and that's about it. There, there's not many players better at the defensive end position aside from uh, Mr. Mr. Mack. That's going to be a tough random. Eagles and Broncos on that. Oh boy, my boy about to have that Tommy John. Oh man. Kenny G lines. Oh well, Bob, just li listen to your argument right now. You you you're talking about a team. I'm talking about a player. D do do you see where I'm going with this? I'm talking about an individual. You're talking about tw you know 12 people or whatever. Steve Young to 399. He was a player for the Niners. All I'm saying is, Khalil Mack, at his position, the defensive end position, is probably the best at his position. That's that's all I'm saying. Who do I think the best defensive player is? That's a tough one. There's so many good defensive players out there, man. But when when healthy, I think JJ Watt. Speak of the devil, I think JJ Watt is the best defensive player when he's healthy. Problem is, hasn't been healthy in like two years. Allen, don't get banned. Dante Foreman with the uh, rookie cut signature for the Texans. Number three of forty nine. Keekly Keekly's a great linebacker. Uh, Chris, just one that I know of. You got Dalvin Tomlinson of the Giants at 25. Is that Cunningham Texans 399? All right, two boxes left. Vikings defense, though, is pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. Which, uh, I don't know what, you know. So, Bob, I'm assuming you're a Vikings fan. If that defense is so great, what happened in the championship game, buddy? They could not stop the Eagles at all. You might be right, Fitz. I don't know, but I think you're in. I think you're in Jason's league. Yeah, you're. In, yeah, I did send two invites. I, I I sent one last night, or I should say, super early this morning. Technically, and then I sent one earlier, like about an hour ago. Yeah, because I, I had uh, I thought I forgot to send those invites, so I just I went ahead and did it again. Well, Bob, if, if it makes you feel any better, dude, 
I'm a Dolphin fan. And, you know, at least the Vikings are competitive year in, year out. Can't say the same about my Dolphins. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Dude, I, dude, at least you're a bridesmaid, bro. Like, I'm I'm not even, like, I'm not even, like, the ring girl. Like, I don't even hand the, the like, I'm, I'm, like... Like I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't even get allowed into the church because the bride said I couldn't. She said I was not invited. You know what I mean? Like I, I, I am so, I'm like so far removed from from the uh, from the ceremony. It's not even funny. But the wife is a dolphin fan. Oh, dude, you. I was gonna say, if you could find a wife or a girlfriend or anything that's a dolphin fan, you 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 got one for life. That that woman is beyond loyal, and she will stick with you to the very end. Dolphin fans, gotta love them. I heard Chris Fitz. I heard, I heard. I, I could have sworn I oh, I overheard you. Well, not overheard, but like I could have sworn I read you saying something to that effect, but not like really saying it to me. So I didn't really acknowledge it. But then CBJ confirmed it today. He's like, "Oh, you know Chris Fitz is uh," because I was telling him about how you hit, how you had hit the, the greasy or whatever. He's like, "Oh, did you hear he's getting married?" I was like, "Kind of, sort of." Bubba Smith of the Colts, the legendary cut signature, very nice, dude. Bob, that's all we got. That is, that is all we got. Two years, seventy-two, seventy-three. That's all we got. Well, uh, congratulations, Chris Fitz? Question mark? I don't know. What up, Fabrice? What's up, Kurt? That's CJ Anderson of the Broncos patch. Gotcha, Fitz. Well, congrats, man. Ted Hendricks of the Raiders to uh, three ninety nine. She got a sister or a cousin or something that that, that could be uh, into Samoans or something. Let me know. I'll treat her right, dude. I thought you guys had it last year too. I mean, the the writing was on the wall, dude. The the miracle of Minnesota, Stephon Diggs, the dude that couldn't make a tackle. I'm like, damn. Vikings might do something this year. And I was really expecting it to be like a dogfight against the Eagles. And then it wasn't. But, dude, this year, I like the Vikings, man. You guys picked up Kirk Cousins, who I think is a big-time quarterback. I think highly of him. I wish the Dolphins would have made a bigger push for him. But whatever. The defense is still there. Uh, man, I, I think Vikings got a chance to do some do some stuff this year. Uh, so we have Drew Brees to 99 for the Saints. Yeah, we got to pay 30 minute lunch. <laughs> we got to pay 30 minute lunch. So for Brees, there's a game in France this year? Bring your lunch. That's good. Nah, Ashley, root for the Dolphins. Always. Always root for the Dolphins. Only undefeated team in NFL history. Uh. Dude, Chris Fitz, I'm trying to tell you, dog. I'm trying to tell you. I, I, I know things. I can't explain it, but I know things. Le'Veon Bell is probably going to sit out the entire season. Like, it makes sense. It just makes sense. Well, Dory Jackson of the Titans the 99. He's not going to get paid what he wants to this year. So he might as well, might as well just sit out the whole season, get his body right. And be good to go. All right, kids, play for life, uh, dude. Uh, you still owe me for that filler, though, kids. Play. You still owe me for that filler. So there's three games in London, Seahawks, Raiders, Titans, Chargers, Eagles, Jaguars. 
You're going to go to the last two. So you're going to Titans, Chargers, Eagles, and Jags. Ooh. Good games. This is going to be uh, a random here. Oh, gotcha, kids. Play. Appreciate you, dude. Well, it's a good thing that I held the draft for as long as I did. Because if I had done a draft like a week ago or something, Quincy Wilson, 399 for the Colts. If I had done the draft like, oh yeah, Real American, I, I ain't forget about that. I, I, I ain't forget about that. It's a lot of things going on. But thank you for reminding me. And like I told you yesterday, I'll give you a little something, something extra. Um, but anyways, yeah, dude, that's why I like doing drafts as close to the last minute as possible. Because injuries, people don't report to camp, you don't know, like, you don't, you never know what's going on. Cuts, you just don't know. But yeah, I I would not draft Le'Veon Bell. And if I was to draft Le'Veon Bell, I wouldn't draft him until, like, after, the, until after all my needs are met. Until I at least have a, one player at, like, every position. Yeah, he'd be he'd be like my third running back that I draft. Well, Kurt, you only say that because I hit for you. I hope you feel the same if you know. God forbid the day comes where I don't hit for you. I, I hope you still, I hope you still think highly of me then. There you go, Chris Fitz. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm gonna get in here super early tomorrow, and given how ridiculous my sleep schedule is that means I'm probably gonna cut the stream short tonight so that I can uh, you know get some sleep come in here do the live stream while we do the break uh, while we do the draft live and dude in the meantime if we fill breaks I rip them just like just like normal only difference is we're doing a live draft too Is it a, it's 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 gonna be a snake draft. Oh, Kurt, that's the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. But uh, it's it's gonna be a snake draft. Draft order is gonna be determined randomly an hour before the draft. All right, Bob. Oh, you don't have to leave, Bob. Unless the wife is telling you to, then then you then you might want to. All right, last box mojo. Tredavious White to 99 Bills. Terry Bradshaw patch for the Steelers to 99. Oh, dude, for Brees. If I was you, I would go with the Chargers, bro. Like... The Chargers jersey to me is so slick. I like it. Especially like the the powder blue variation that they have. Oh my god. It should Chris Fitz considering that uh you can change your line up, up up to like an hour before the game actually kicks off. Tarod Taylor, Bills patch. Steve Young, three ninety nine Niners. I'll play. I'll play with those settings later today, Chris Fitz. And I'll. I'll make sure that you know players that you draft tomorrow, will be available to play immediately, etc. etc. Make sure that we start the scoring week one and not week two. Because tomorrow, technically week one, NFL is back, baby. To 25, Tariq Cohen, rookie for Dub Bears. Bears are going to be an interesting team to watch this year. Uh, thank you, Brave. Appreciate you. Hopefully, we can get that thing filled ASAP. I don't want that thing sitting in the store like, uh, like that World Cup has been. Quincy Wilson to 199 for the, uh, for the Colts. It's like a it's like a clear blue. Uh, it's like a it's it's like a powder blue. It's like a pewter blue. It's 
I would, I would ha let me let me finish this break and then I'm gonna use my internet skills to look it up for you. All right, well that is it for that. Now you know y'all know me by now. Um, I'm all about my life being made easier. So, with that in mind, we're gonna do this random real quick, fast, in a hurry. It's either gonna go to the left side team or the right side team. If I roll, I'm gonna roll this dice here. So if I roll. And uh, an odd number, it's going to go to the left side team. If I roll an even number, it's going to go to the right side team. So, uh, here we go. Odd left, even right. Here we go. Even number four, so it's going to the right side team. Let me get my marker so I can write all over the cards. So this will be Broncos. And this will be Packers. And uh, I also need to uh, random Panini points. We had 400 Panini points in this break. All right, we're going to go seven times in the randomizer for that. Let me put that on the screen. Come on, random work. Let's see. Grab the football teams. And let's do the old copy and paste. Boom. We're going seven times in the random. Top team wins uh, 400 Panini points. Here we go. It's, it's gonna be pricey, huh, Fitz? It's gonna be price. It's gonna be pricey for you. Well, you you could always do the eBay route, Chris Fitz. And then boom, seven top team, the Patriots, will be receiving four hundred Panini points. Recap time. Four hundred Panini points, Patriots. Uh, this dual relic we random to 99 going to the Packers and this dual relic to 99 going to the Broncos we just did that random uh, let's uh, start with the patches we got Tarot Taylor Bills Bradshaw Steelers to 99 Anderson Broncos Galladay Lions Ajayi Dolphins Taylor uh, Titans Ingram Giants Ross Bengals, McNichols Bucks, and Winston for the Bucks. Autographs. Well, let's start with these first. We got Quincy Wilson, Colts 199. Tariq Cohen Bears 25. Dalvin Tomlinson, Giants 25. Shelton Gibson Eagles 189. Bubba Smith of the Colts 30 and 99. Dante Foreman, Texans. To 49, Marcus Mariota, Titans, 7 out of 10, Darbo Seahawks, 299, Reynolds Rams, 299, Kamara Saints, 299, and Kamara of the Saints, 299. And that was the break. Thank you very much. Wait that out to you.